Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a battle of the foundations. This is going to be an all day wear test of two very long wearing foundations. One is the holy grail status for a lot of people, the Estee Lauder double wear foundation up against something that is brand new that I found to be extremely long wearing. This is new from Tarte and it is the face tape foundation. I'm going to do an all day wear test and check-ins. This is not what I have on currently. I have on one of these, but I waited for the perfect day for this. It was in the upper 70s here. It was right before it was going to storm, so it was nice and humid too. <laughs> and then I went to the movies. I wore both of these foundations all day long and I did some check-ins so you guys could see how they wore and how they compared up against each other. Before we get into this video, I do want to tell you just really quickly, if you don't want to hear this, just skip ahead. It's totally fine. But my uploads have been a little bit irregular, and that is because I've been going to the doctor several times, been having issues with my stomach, and I found out that I have gallstones. So I will be having surgery on Monday. Right now, I basically have a week to try to get two weeks worth of stuff done because I'm going to try and like pre-film and whatnot. So my scheduling is going to be a little off until I heal and I'm able to sit here. I don't know how long that's going to take. I've never had this kind of surgery before. I know it's not like a big deal or anything like that, but I just wanted to prepare you guys. I know you guys are used to every day, like four days, one day off, four days, one day off, but it's going to be a little kind of hit or miss. I don't know what my upload schedule is going to be like. I'm just going to film as much as possible before my surgery, and I just wanted to give you guys that heads up so you guys knew what was going on. So now let's actually get into what we're actually here for, which is the comparisons of these two foundations. Let's start off by directly comparing them to each other, and then I will show you me applying them to my face. But I'm not gonna tell you which side is which until the very end. Tarte Face Tape is $39 and 1.01 ounces, and the Estee Lauder Double Wear is $42 with one ounce. 50 shades for the Tarte and 56 shades for the Estee Lauder. The Tarte Face Tape is full coverage, whereas the Double Wear is medium to full coverage. The finish on the Tarte one is natural matte and Double Wear is considered matte. Now, we have a little bit of a difference when it comes to the Tarte one as it is transfer proof, waterproof, and sweat proof. Now on the double wear side, it is transfer resistant and waterproof. It doesn't say anything about sweat on that one. I was trying to look up the sites and everything. The face tape mattifies and hydrates, but the double wear only has an oil controlling claim. And then the last difference is 12 hour power on the Tarte side and 24 hour wear on the double wear side. Now let me go ahead and show you guys me applying these to my face. Like I said, I am not going to tell you which side is which. I will tell you that I am not wearing a primer on the perimeter of my face at all. I am just wearing my normal everyday MAC Skin Refine Zone and Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer on my pores. I used two different sponges so nothing got contaminated and I used the same powder and everything to set everything up. But you can see one side versus the other in this little close-up. Tell me which side down below you think looks better with it unset. And then this is an hour later. So I've had that both foundations on for an hour. I have everything finished, everything's done. And honestly, I think both sides look really, really, really nice. But can you spot any differences? Which one do you like more? I just, I really wanna see what you guys think before I end up telling you guys which one is which. And then I check in at six hours and here are the differences there. As you can see, these foundations do not budge. That's what I love about both of them is that they just do not move. I have such great longevity with these. And at the six hour mark, I had already gone out with my kids. We went for a walk. It was 75 degrees out, a little bit humid because of the storm coming and it still looked this great. And then we have quite a big leap in between the check-ins and that is because we left to go to the movies and out to dinner and everything else. So we came back and you can see it is now dark. And this is at 
13 hours. And this is when I am finally going to take these off. Which one do you think looks better at the 13 hour mark? I do see subtle little differences here. One to me looks just a little bit more matte. One looks like, they both look smooth. They both still look great and I could still continue wearing the foundation, but I do see small little subtle differences. Now, I'm gonna tell you which side is which. Instead of saying left or right, I'm just gonna go with the freckle. For the freckle side, I was wearing the double wear foundation. And then on this side, I had the face tape. I'm gonna tell you what I was noticing throughout the day. And that is the very first thing that I noticed was that the double wear actually creased in my smile line first. And this is actually my deeper smile line. So that was surprising to me, but it wasn't at the same time because I remember that being like a big deal when I did the initial review of this foundation. I was like, oh my gosh, like even my smile line still look great. So. It definitely creased just a little bit in my smile line on the double wear side first, but still nothing bad or anything major. I did get a little bit more oily on my nose area right here than I did on the face tape side. So this side stayed a little bit more matte. This one I would say was just a little bit more natural. Like in person, I would say that this one probably looked just like a little bit more on the natural matte side where this one was definitely it was like straight up matte but there really wasn't a big difference in like how they wore I feel like both of them wore so well and I expected that I really really did because every time I have worn this it has stayed in place and you guys know that this is just an amazing foundation there's a reason why people love the double wear there's a reason why people still talk about this foundation to this day this is what I love to wear to work when I knew I had a 16 hour day and I needed to make sure that my makeup stayed on but I'll tell you that if I was still doing that job I would wear this very confidently so let me know down below which one won in your opinion which one did you prefer on my skin do you like them both personally I like them both if I wanted something a little bit more matte and I feel like is a little bit more coverage I think the face tape wins in that side but I think that the double wear because of its texture can look a little bit more natural so Matte, all day wear, a little bit more natural, all day wear, but this one did have some of my shine come through on my nose, whereas this one did not at all. So let me know what your thoughts are down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.